Hey, 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 hey! Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs. So today we're going to do a quick unboxing, first impressions of these guys. These are the uh, heads of the Crimson Guard, the Cobra Twins, Tomax and Zamot. And it's like, why the hell, Hasbro, is this not a two-pack? I just don't get it. Why are these individual releases? I mean, are, are there people out there who are like, oh, I'm really going to buy a Tomax, but Zama Paoli, no, don't want that guy. What do you have with his little scar? What? <laughs> the mind boggles. I'm just confused about it, okay, truly. Now, if you're someone who wants to buy Zama, but you're like going, Tomax, no, I'm not buying that one. Please, in the comments, let me know if you just want one of the twins. Because then, you know, if you leave a comment, I'll know that I have to avoid you in life. <laughs> Fucking weird. Standard boxes were still on the plastic at the moment. Uh, gorgeous artwork. It's probably going to be the... Also, why isn't this two packs? Because this is probably the first time that we've got the same artist on two different separate releases. And what you can do is... Um, are these numbered releases? Yeah, it's 44 and 45. But if you bookend them this way, you get that full... Cobra thing, which is kind of cool. They also have different job descriptions in their uh, bio of the thing that you have to look up online about what they do. They they both do different things, but what they're both going to do is go, both going to come out of the packaging, and then I will forget which one is which forever. Zamot has the scar. I think that's the. Even though it's not an X scar, you've got to think the one that begins with an X has the scar. The scar. We go together. Well, apparently not to the Hasbro marketing team. Shilling long. Um, rip Olivia Newton John. Eh? Right. So. We'll get Xanot out first. This is the bit I don't like, because it just makes so much noise. These plastic clamshells will not be missed. So there's the figure himself. He also comes with a knife. A wavy knife. A secondary wavy knife. It's kind of a machine pistol, I presume. It's quite a short uh, barrel. Hey. And I know other companies do this. A separate magazine. And silencer. Just what we need. More stuff to lose. So let's just... Try and plug the silencer in there. Come on. Plugged in. Plug in the magazine. Like so. And there you go. There's the gun. is now complete. He's got his knives. So. And two holsters. So. There they go. I think they're identical knives, but one will go by the hip and one will go in the boots. I quite like these ones because, I mean, a lot of these things were just moulded on details on the original figures. And now they're actually working little knife pockets. And we'll get Tomax out. 
He's out, he's out. Um, and he has one wavy knife. A second wavy knife. A magazine clip. Silencer and a machine pistol thing. We will put the silencer on. We'll probably glue these at some point. There we go. And we'll T pose him while we stick the knives in the knife holders. They're not scabbards, are they for knives? I think they're just knife holders. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a good word. So, as we can see, other than the head sculpts and the sashes, these guys are pretty much identical. So the sashes are mirrored. Um, Zamot has the scar. Tomax has a bit more of a smile on his face, a bit more of a arched eyebrow. I can't remember what they're actual different personalities uh, were. I just remember him going around doing a a lot of business, so they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I really like the the head sculpts. Really kind of, and also the the you know the hairs parted on a different side to give them that, that mirrored kind of look to them. So yeah, generally they've just come out really well. Um, were the acrobats as well? So. Because they've not got like big bulky like bulletproof vests and stuff, I should imagine that the um, articulation on these guys is going to be pretty cool. So you've got that back butterfly, there's a forward butterfly, um, can move the arms all the way around because the, the, the pauldron just gets out of the way, bicep swivel. Double jointed in the elbow. This needs a bit of warming up. Um, wrist swivel. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so rocking that way on that wrist. Yeah, so rocking this way is on the wrists. There's a hinge for the ab crunch that kind of ball joint at the waist we've not really talked about the head the heads on a swivel you can look up look down there's a little bit going on at the neck again it'll probably be better once it's warmed up a bit yeah, so you can get plenty of kind of movement out of the legs, full on. <laughs> That's great. That is a great split. And then you can fly all the way up. Obviously, get some um, caught on the buttocks, even though it's a it's a softer plastic. Impressive double knee joints, thigh swivels, 
but uh, yeah, a cut at the boot and a rocker at the ankle. Look at that ankle pivot. So yeah, and you can go up and down to some extent, better down than up, which is more natural anyway. <laughs> So yeah, I can imagine you can get a lot of cool kind of poses out of these guys. They've got trigger hing fingers on both hands. Now forgive me if I make the wrong one right-handed and the wrong one left-handed, but um, here we go. We're just making ground. I presume the articulation is going to be identical on this identical twin. But, obviously, once he's got in a different hand, because, um... Is that how twins work? I don't think it is. I don't think if one twin is left-handed, the other twin is right-handed. I don't... I, that, that doesn't sound... That doesn't sound real to me. But there again, we are talking about the world of G.I. Joe. But, yeah. So, uh, these guys can be very kind of... Flamboyant, I should imagine. That's pretty uh, coming in, leading the cobra forces. <laughs> yeah, cobra. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, why aren't these a two pack? Why don't they come in a two pack together? Why are they individually released? And not only that, I had to wait a while to get one of these, because one of these had come in stock with in-demand toys, and the other one they had to wait an extra couple of months for. Why are you releasing them quite, even though they're the same wave, why are you releasing them like at different times? Why aren't these a two-pack? Seriously. They could have had their own special elite release and not taking up two characters in a wave of figures. But there we go. We have them. They're here. They're glorious. But I'm still confused as why. Well. They're not a bloody two pack. Do you, guys, do you really want size comparisons? We keep doing this with the size companions, but here we go. Um here he is. <laughs> Next to a digable. Class Transformer, in case you wanted to know. Um, that's Sideswipe. From Kingdom. It's the Earth Mode um, Sideswipe. Um, I just had him a second, here we go. If you want to put him with the, with Marvel Legends, which is probably, you know, a comparable line, as well as G.I. Joe themselves. Here he is with... The hood, the weight, is it hood or is it Hoodimus Prime? Da, 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 you've got the touch. Don't touch me. Ugh, creep. And next up, we have vintage classic, not classified, G.I. Joe scale. Here he is with the bird brained accountant, Raptor. Come on, guys. We know we really want. A silly bird man in the classified series. Justice for Raptor. <laughs> and the guy that they go around and get the vapes from. Uh, maybe some of that sweet, sweet craft ale. It's Fisto the Hipster. Hey guys, I'm just jealous of his hair to be honest with you, <laughs> and his mighty fist. That's them, this is them. I'll do size comparisons with the other one, but I'll assure you it's exactly the same because they're identical, but for some reason, not in a two pack. I've been me, you've been you, be excellent to each other. Party on dudes, and because you deserve it, let's bump fish, shall we? Fisto! Fisto!